You play one year of high school football. You no get doubt. recruited by two colleges. Waits for the shotgun snap, gets it, stands in the pocket, throws it, intercepted! It's picked off Khalil Mack! You know, he hasn't been playing football that long. Khalil Mack! Touchdowns for the pylon! Touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah. How about that from the All-American? Khalil Mack intercepts the screen pass. You know, he started, I think, one year of high school. Next thing you know, he's ended up at the University of Buffalo. We said we were curious to see how he matched up against the best that he'll play against. No, he's rushing the quarterback, and he's just a natural talent. So he's still learning what we call secondary moves, uh, third moves, how to, how to layer your moves and become the ultimate pass rusher. So I think what we've seen from him, while it's been incredibly off the chart, we're just beginning to scratch the surface in terms of what he ultimately can do. With the fifth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select Khalil Mack, linebacker. Much like when Simeon Rice came to Tampa, he made Warren Sapp, he made Derrick Brooks. He made everyone better, and Khalil Mack is a generational type player just like that. He, he's a stud. He's exactly what we need. We're talking with Coach Dennis Allen. Just Khalil Mack is the real deal. Well, and he's sideline to sideline. You, you talked about his stats when he was at Buffalo. Khalil Mack, the number one draft pick from Buffalo. Six. He's got double the amount of sacks as the first pick in that draft to Davion Clowney. Khalil Mack, the stud rookie, Rivers never saw him. Third down at six. Buffalo's converted just one of their last eight. And Orton and Khalil Mack. What Mack. We talked about don't necessarily pay attention to the stats. He's racking up the stats here today. Talking about Khalil Mack, when you're watching a generational type of talent. Khalil Mack! How, how many folks in the league are more impactful than Mack? Second down, 10. Stacy is in. Mack is chasing. You need that guy with that helmet. With that logo, you need guys like him. Six defensive backs on third down. Khalil Mack. On third and nine, Mariota with time. I am a fan of Khalil Mack, and I think he's a better guy off the field than he even is on the field, and he's one of the best players I've ever seen. Mack coming off the edge. The attempt to chop him doesn't work. Under pressure, and he goes down at about the 25-yard line, and that's Khalil Mack once again. Dragged down by Khalil Mack. When you draft a player, regardless of position, you hope that player turns out, turns out mm -hmm. to do what Khalil Mack did. He's an all-pro edge player. I mean, he made the all-pro team as a defensive end and an outside linebacker. So whether you want to put his hand in the dirt or whether you want to stand him up, he can get after the quarterback. He is a game changer. Osweiler is dumped. Back at the 15, Khalil Mack. The guy had 15 and a half sacks his second year. He's defensive player of the year his third year, and he has 10 and a half sacks his fourth year. Osweiler loses the football. A scrum for it in the end zone. Safety. It is a safety. Khalil Mack with another sack and another strip sack, if you will. It's Mack with another sack. In the last two years, his 175 quarterback disruptions, sacks, hits, pressures of the quarterback is far and away better than any pass rusher in football.
But this guy, in the fourth quarter of games, he can just take the whole game over. Need 32 yards to get McManus into the range of 57 yards, which is his career long. Yep. They needed this game, and they went to Denver, and he put up that five-sack performance did. against the Broncos. Khalil Mack, five sacks on the day for Mack. Mack is not human. And the number one thing I love about him, he makes his teammates better. They knew when Khalil Mack got here, he was going to be a defensive uh, player of the year type guy. Rodgers moving around in the pocket, and he goes down. It's Khalil Mack. His 15th sack of the season. Khalil Mack is the definition of a beast. The season for Khalil Mack. Heavy weather here in the Bay Area. Temperatures will be in the 60s. The wind is going to pick up. It has been raining for the last three hours straight. See Mack against Fisher. He can finesse you with the spin move and then come back and hit you with some strength. Too strong. By the power of the strength. He's just, just that left arm. He pushes Fisher right down. Will Mack is a handful at the defensive end position. You better believe it. The Lions, since the first time he stepped into the league two years ago, it's been pretty clear that Khalil Mack is a special talent. He's at, already at on, he's on track for Hall of Fame. Like, you just say it. Like, I'm not hypo as Rob Dow say it. <laughs> he's a future Hall of Fame. Intercepted! Back for the touchdown! Good old Mack. What an athletic play in the last few weeks. He is sacking the quarterback, making plays everywhere. Fourth and ten. It would have to be a 62-yard field goal just too far back. Fourth and ten. Game on the line. Khalil Mack has 40 and a half sacks in four years. Newton in trouble, and the Raiders end it. It was Mack with the strip sack. He and Derek Carr know when it's time to win the game. Giving him the uh, MVP, he continues playing the way he has. Khalil Mack has been the face of this defense. Then as he throws, that ball is up in the air, intercepted. Nate Allen's got the pick for the Raiders. And it was Mack around the corner that... Cause this ball to be intercepted. Oh, it's knocked away to Leo Mack. He is a one-man wrecking crew on defense. The football hat trick. He's one everywhere. One for the sack, one for the fumble forced, and one for the recovery. And that's back the defensive player of the year beats Moses the right tackle that's helped this organization really transform and become you know what they've become Mac the first Raider to win defensive player of the year since Lester Hayes 1980 he does get a loose out I remember when we were 0 and 10 and every time we came in the meeting room all the coach showed was plays at Khalil we down by 40. Look at this guy. It's simple. You don't make that move with Jack Del Rio unless you know you can get John Gruden. John Gruden is going to be the next coach of the Oakland Raiders. The only question is when it happens. The Oakland Raiders expected to trade Raiders defensive end Khalil Mack to the Chicago Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Why did Khalil Mack have to get traded? Most of all, I love to win. The Raiders get a 2019 first round pick, 2020 first round pick, 2020 third round pick. The whole point of drafting in the top 10 is to hope you get a guy almost as good as Khalil Mack. If Gruden really wanted Mack, he'd be a Raider right now. 
And there, of course, is Mac waiting for his Bears debut. Remember, he had no training camp. As somebody who grew up in Chicago, waking up on Saturday morning was insanity. Insane. Third and nine. Four-man rush. Here comes. Look out. Down he goes in the 25-yard line. And that is a sight that has everybody's heart stopping at Lambeau Field. Mm. I'll be back. You just got the Bears. Uh, a 27-year-old prime player who is a former defensive player of the year in his prime. And Mack took the ball away. Khalil Mack already paying dividends. Welcome to Chicago. So that whole trade, a head scratcher. I mean, a lot of draft picks went to open. You never know how the thing's going to turn out in the long term. That one's going to go down. It's going to be picked off by Mack. Mack with the interception. And Mack will take it all the way in for a touchdown. How crazy was that? Robertson Harris extracted the ball 28 yards and Khalil Mack is already the defensive MVP of the season. showed everyone last night that he's worthy of being right there in the same category as Aaron Donald. Second down and eight, stumbles forward and loses the ball. Resurrecting itself, rises from the ashes of mediocrity and beyond. This is how you do it. You go and you get Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack has barely been here 30 days, and what an impact he has made. Good evening, Terry. We're the Monster Squad. Sometimes the world no longer needs a hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. And the ball is loose. Like a big monster with a The Mac Daddy. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody.